So Malaysia's opposition is now claiming that its own exit polls indicate its leader Anwar Ibrahim has won 61% of the votes in the by-election in Pramatang Pau, but it is not declaring victory just yet, as the official results won't be out until 10 p.m. tonight. The opposition also says its exit polls indicate Barisan Nasional's Arif Shah Omar Shah has secured 39% of the votes. Mr. Anwar has repeatedly said he is confident of winning today's polls despite facing fresh sodomy charges by his former aide. Channel News Asia's S. Ramesh with our top story. It was the moment everyone at the polling center at Pananti, a division within Parbatang Pau, has been waiting for. Thousands of supporters from Party Card and Ragyat and scores of photographers, cameramen and journalists from the Malaysian and international media went into a frenzy as Mr. Anwar Ibrahim and his family arrived at 9.45 a.m. to cast their vote. Hundreds of voters started arriving at 25 polling centres all over Pramatang Pau from 8 in the morning. Voting went smoothly with volunteers from the Elections Department on hand to guide them to their polling booths. Nearly 58,400 voters were eligible to cast their vote. 70% of them are Malays and a large number of them come from the older generation. The Penang state government has declared a public holiday for the Permatang Pau by elections, a decision which has been met with mixed reactions. The intention is to allow as many workers in the Permatang Pau district to cast their vote and to signal their support for their preferred candidate. Emerging from the polling station, a confident Mr. Anwar said he was fighting the entire government machinery in these elections. Since the Barisan National candidate Arif Shah Omar Shah has the support of the Prime Minister and other government leaders. If he wins, Mr. Anwar said he intends to see the Parliament Speaker tomorrow so he can be sworn in immediately. The Speaker had earlier indicated that the swearing-in ceremony is only likely in the middle of October. With the country's budget scheduled to be delivered on Friday, Mr. Anwar is keen to start making his mark on the Malaysian legislature, something he has missed doing for the past 10 years. As Ramesh, Channel News Asia, Permatang Pau, Penang.